In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some drawing templates. So typically when you start a new drawing, you'll see this screen and you just click drawing. And when you do that, you get the default. You get to choose the paper size. You get the default however your settings are for your um, software once it's, when it's loaded on your computer. So for example, one thing people are having a problem with not using ANSI dimension styles. So the pro you know, problem is the default setting for this is ISO. And even though it says ANSI, we know it's not. And what I've found works is if your machine is doing that, it's just, you have to toggle through, set it for ISO, then set it for ANSI, and then it will be on ANSI dimension styles. But if I want to do something like, I could have stayed in that screen, uh, change the number of decimals. So again, this will be my default. So now whenever I draw, Using the sheet, it'll be ANSI dimension styles, which is what we try to use in this class in almost every situation, and it'll be three decimals. That's just the way I'm going to start. If I need to change it, I can change it, but it's a good foundation for starting your drawings. Um, again, it doesn't mean it's, that's the only thing you can use. And now we want to save that, so go save as, give it a name, call it ANSI, something that you can remember. See drawing template. Now don't hit save yet because you need to set the file type. It's going to be a drawing template, which is a DRW, DOT file. Save that. And now let's close this. I don't need to save that. Um, so now when I start a new drawing, you won't be working from this screen though. You'll go down here where it says advanced and you'll see one that says ANSI drawing template. Click on that and say OK. And now your options are set. It's going to be on ANSI dimension style. See how it says modify. That's that's a good sign. And it's set for three decimals. And then I'll put my views on there and do my dimensioning and so forth. So that works really well. Now, the other thing you may want to do, because people are having issues with this, when we deal with a drawing in millimeters, we still are going to use ANSI dimension styles. That's just the style of dimension, the way the arrowheads look, the way the leader lines look, those kinds of things. It has nothing to do with the unit itself. Right, so we can go to dimensions here and just set the precision. A millimeter is a very small unit. Remember, there's 25.4 millimeters per inch. So if you were to have a drawing in millimeters that has three decimal places on the dimensions, that would be calling for an extremely accurate, extremely expensive part. So don't make that mistake. So typically, again, because a millimeter is so small, you don't show any decimals. If you need to add to decimals, and sometimes that happens, you might have 22.5 millimeters, then you'd have to come in and change this to show one decimal place. Okay, but typically, this is the way we're going to operate. So that's a great way to have it set, and that way I don't have to go in and set that each time and remember to set it. Say OK, and now I'm going to save this one. And this one's going to be millimeter drawing template. And same thing, I want to go down here and do drawing template DRW DOT file. Save that. And now let's close that. Now I can go and start a new drawing. Again, I will go to Instead of being in this novice, I'll go to advanced. Now I've got an ANSI drawing template. I have a millimeter. I've got quite a few other templates, but you know, if you have those two, you'll be fine. So the only thing you have to do is remember when you go to create a drawing, think about, is it in millimeters? So set it on here and say, okay, now I know it's gonna be in millimeters. If I go to look at my options, you can see it says ANSI modified, and this will show no decimals on that, right? So that should be uh, very helpful for you going forward.